everybody, it's Michelle with Schmoopy TV, and today we're playing Animal Crossing City Folk. We are on episode 25, and I have the date on the 20th. I went ahead and played on the 15th, so that way I could buy turnips, because I don't think we've done that yet in uh, this game. So, I wanted to make sure I did that. Let's go ahead and get our mail. Oh, our pockets are full. So anyway, I bought um, 20 turnips, and they were 101 bells apiece. I picked up some shells and things just to sell. Oops, I didn't mean to pick that up. Uh, let's drop it. I, uh, I've i been watching Mori plays, and he's been playing City Folk as well, and um, I've learned so many tips and tricks from watching him and reading the comments. Um, I didn't know that you buy red turnips from Joan and then you actually plant them for like six days and uh, they're worth a lot a lot more plus you can use those to trade which I did know you could use them to trade but I didn't know that you put them in the ground for six days and watered them every day for them to grow to their full potential and then um, I actually learned that you can pick up regular scallops from the beaches I knew you could pick up white scallops I've sold them but if you find regular scallops, I believe, um, then you can have them in your pocket when Pascal comes, and that's how you kind of trade with him. So, cool little uh, tips and tricks, which is fun because when you're playing this game and you don't remember everything, it's so much fun to watch somebody else do it, and they know different things than you know. So, anyway. A lot of fun watching him lately, so if you want to check him out, he's playing uh, City Folk on Mori Plays. And uh, let's go ahead and talk to everybody. It's been a while. <laughs> okay. That was dramatic. Uh, I don't think I have anything that... What's over here? Festive candle. Cannon. I don't know why I have a cannon. I don't know why I saved it. But anyway, let's take our uh, snowman stuff out. Snowman fridge. Perfect. Oh, you know what we forgot to do is check the turnip prices. I was talking and I forgot. So let's talk to him really quick. Nope. We can't do 77 bells because, like I said, we purchased him for 101 bells. Now, five days have gone by. So I could have missed out on the good pricing. But it is what it is at this point. Okay. We need to purchase this bed. I've never seen a bed yet. So let's go ahead and buy that bed. Oh, I take that back. I have seen that pineapple bed, but I didn't like that pineapple bed is kind of what I was getting at. So I like that blue bed. I think I'll replace my bed upstairs with it. So let's go ahead and purchase a couple of things here. Uh, I think this is new. And then we have a lucky cat, don't we? But let's just go ahead and buy it anyway, and then we'll buy this um, floating. What is this? Asteroid. Okay. I know for a fact we've already purchased this pineapple bed, so I'm not going to waste the bells on it. I'm not going to worry about the other items either. And, oh, another thing, um, I ordered a wireless keyboard, and I'm waiting for it to get here. So that, one went, that way, when we uh, write out letters, it's so much faster. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, now that we have all of those items, let's go ahead and go to our house. I want to put down our snowman item, and I want to change our bed out. Yeah, I knew we had a lucky cat. Um, let's put it... We'll just put it upstairs. Why not? 
We have so many items in here, it's crazy. We'll put our lucky cat over here. And then, uh, really, we need to sell a lot of items. There's our snowman fridge. Let's put our lucky cat right here. See if we can push it back. And then let's put some items in storage. What do we have in storage right now? I'm going to put all of these items in storage because whenever we get our wireless keyboard, I want to see we have all of our paper and we have all of these gifts saved up. So we'll go ahead and use those. Oh, I put the bed in storage. Dang it. I want to use it up here. All right, let's go get our bed. Sorry. But um, when we get our wireless keyboard, we can start writing letters and stuff. It just takes too long with this uh, pointer. Mm -hmm. I've done maybe a couple letters and that's it because of that. It's just uh, more of a hassle than anything. So I'm really excited about getting that wireless uh, keyboard to do that with. Okay, here we go. All right, let's pick this sucker up. There we go. Okay, let's swap it for our blue bed. Yay, we got a pretty blue bed. Okay. So we've updated our bed, which is so pretty. I didn't like the green, so I'm really happy with the blue. We have so many items we could sell for bells. I just hate to sell them because they're the special items. The snowman items, our jingle items. I just don't want to sell them yet. They're so pretty. Let's see if we can fit them in storage. I'm sure we can. Yeah, plenty of room. And we need to rearrange our house too. It's not like set up the best. A lot of work to do there. Okay, since it's snowing, let's go down to, do I not have my fishing pole on me? No, I'm glad I looked. And what else do I need? Let's go ahead and plant these trees. Who's that walking around? No, it's still Dottie. Let's see, can I put a tree right here? No, I wanted it more right there. But that's probably too close to a house. Okay, let's try right here, that's fine. And we'll do a cedar. Perfect. And then, let's try to line these up a little bit. Over here it's chaotic because I haven't lined them up yet, but maybe we'll put, because a house will go there if we ever fill it up. Blue Bear, who's Blue Bear? I mean, not who's Blue Bear, where'd she come from is what I mean. So she's our new villager. I love Blue Bear. Do you, uh, do you know any really good snacks for a hungry person? I just bumped into this guy with a sketchbook. I think he's one of those starving artist people. He kept like going on and on about how empty his tummy was, so I promised to feed him. Oh, it's uh, Wendell's here. I guess I have a bunch of leftover gaz. What's that say? Gazpacho surprise. I wonder how you say that. But anyway, Wendell's here. Let's catch a fish really quick for Wendell. Okay, tomorrow is the fishing tourney. So we need to participate in that. You ever heard of Fern Fossil? Okay. He wants a Fern Fossil. I'll have to write that down. Okay, I wrote down that... Sterling wants a fern fossil. Let's check our uh, rocks here. Pill 
bye. found our money rock. Let's go find um, a fish for Wendell. fish out, is there? A scallop! Alright, so we got lucky and we found our scallop. So, uh, used to, I would just sell those along with the white scallops. Now I know to keep them for when uh, Pascal's here. So, we're going to keep that scallop and not sell it. I'm just so glad I know that trick now. Um, and like I said, we need to find a fish for Wendell. I still haven't seen Wendell, but obviously he's here because Blue Bear was talking about him. Let's get rid of these weeds. We have some really cool uh, paths from Wendell already. Let's look at those really quick. So see, we can make a full path. We have the, the two corners and the vertical path. So we'll see what he gives us this time. But I would really like to uh, catch a fish. Here we go. I wonder if he'll be uh, happy about an octopus. I don't know. We'll uh, fish for another one, just in case. Bill! I wonder why he's calling me Dumbbell. I don't remember him calling me that. Okay. Like she wants something cabana but then she just asked for something so I don't know so I'm just gonna write down cabana or just regular furniture and uh, see what we can come up with okay perfect so we'll give him the red snapper. Got to pick up some of my shells so more shells will populate. Let's go talk to whoever this is. Dizzy. Mi casa is su casa. Hmm. 
Okay. He's repeating himself. Let's leave. Alright, now let's go on a mission to find Wendell. Here he is! Wendell, I have your red snapper! Okay. Hopefully I can delete that yellow. Like perfect. Okay, I can un I can get rid of the umbrella pattern. So let's do that. Curved track three. Okay, let's look at it. Oh wow, it's like a uh, train track. That's really neat. Okay, here a balloon. I don't have the right path still to make a complete complete path. See how it zigzags and then you can't really... <laughs> it's really hard to make it because I only have a vertical path and then two zigzag paths. See, these are the paths that I have right here. So I'm not able to make a complete path yet, but I'm getting there. I wanted to try it out and see what I could do with it. Super mushroom? I want to see what that is. Um, but I wanted to see if there was some way I could make a path, but it's just too difficult without having that parallel piece. Okay, let's check out what our super mushroom looks like. Yay! Super mushroom! That makes me so happy. Okay, where should I put it? I'll just put it right there, right in the middle. I have some of the Mario wallpaper, I think. Let's check that out. Cloud flooring, maybe? Forest wall? I don't know if those are it, but I think they are. No, those aren't it. I thought I had the Mario stuff. It was like from Super Mario 3. Let's see if these are it. Harvest rug. Harvest wall. Oh, it's on the wall in here. <laughs> Gosh, I knew I had it. Okay, so let's put this. No. So let's put this on the wall. So that way we have the mushroom mural. So let's take the mushroom mural downstairs. And then we'll have the, the uh, cloud floor and the mushroom mural. So that's close to Mario. We have the Mario Super Mario Brothers 3 wallpaper and then we need the flooring. Get him some medicine. I think I have some. I might have used it on somebody else though already. Okay, we don't have any medicine to give to uh, Elmer. Let's go down to the ocean and see if we can find a coelacanth. Let's find out who this is really quick. Mm. 
Shem. Yeah, I need a tuna too. I can't give you one. No. Sorry, Shev. I didn't mean to make you mad, but I have to donate one first. And then I'll give you one. Alright, let's see what we can find here. Ooh, right there. Let's check this out. I think this is a bigger fish. So this could be a coelacanth or a tuna. Or a sea bass. It's probably a sea bass. Dang it! They're big in this game, so they trick you into thinking that uh, there's something they're not. been going around trying to find a uh, coelacanth or a um, tuna but I also want to catch a football fish so I've been trying to find that but I've been coming up with basically sea bass and olive flounders so no luck yet see another sea bass there but I have let's see a dab, two olive flounders, and three sea bass. So I don't think I'm going to have any luck today. So that's probably where we'll end it. I went ahead and picked up some of the uh, seashells and put them, scattered them up above the beach. So that way more will populate. What fish was that? Just two little ones. Oh, I didn't even mean to catch that. That's funny. I hit A at the same time. So we'll keep uh, on our search for the tuna and the coelacanth. Hopefully we'll get lucky next time. So I hope you enjoy this episode, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.